use this worksheet. It's for annual depreciation. You update it once a year. If you go to months, you'll have to change the formulas a little bit. Uh, I recommend you use annual. Uh, what you have here is the date in service, uh, the acquisition cost. Uh, over here, you're going to have the uh, remaining life and the tax method in our case is always straight line. The um, uh, ending depreciation is going to start out as zero. This is a formula um, in this particular cell. Um, it will help you by uh, not over depreciating. You can see down here that these assets have been fully depreciated, so there's no depreciation taken out. And the net book value is zero. Net book value is, of course, the acquisition cost less the total depreciation at the end of the year. In this case, there is still some value left, about $400. Um, so what you have is uh, we do our, our postings by category. These are leasehold, leasehold improvements. So this would go to, uh, where am I here? Here is your depreciation for the year. Uh, it is a credit to leasehold improvements, accumulated depreciation, and a debit to your depreciation expense. At the end of the year, when you finish your depreciation, first you save this as the 2021 depreciation file, create a new file of 2022. You're going to copy these values, uh, copy, and then you're going to go over here and you're going to paste special. In Excel, it's a little different, but you paste values only. And in that case, it will then change the uh, ending depreciation value based on the formula, and you're all set for the next year. Thank you.